What's going on you awesome creatives? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at SketchUp and how to create concept models. So guys, as you can see, this is what we're going to be creating today. We're going to be looking at Big's Quartz Scraper um, that he built up in New York. But the concepts we kind of cover today will kind of allow you to do any kind of concept diagramming that, that you need to in SketchUp. So this is something I've kind of played around with and obviously you can kind of see the transition between just the normal old European court um, and through the transition into more open and green space and the connections in between them. So let's jump into a new window of SketchUp and have a play and create some concept diagrams. All right guys, so we've obviously got a new window open up in here. Now, just to give you guys a basis of what we'll be covering today is obviously you've got Big's Court Scraper that was built in New York. Um, I believe it was commissioned in 2010 and built in 2011. Um, I'll leave a link down in the description down below to both these concept diagrams. You can jump on my Pinterest page to find these. Um, and I'll also leave a link down in the description down below, down to the Arch Daily website. So this is what we'll be playing with today, is looking at the basic box, um, this here, uh, as it starts getting turned into a quartz scraper and then obviously the pushing and pulling that's kind of done So we're going to end up with something finalized with this here All right, so let's jump back into SketchUp now We've got some kind of context as to what we're building and get into it All right, so guys what we're going to do is quickly draw out a rectangle For our start and just extrude it up now. I believe big in his next one is kind of starts implementing the quartz scraper so we can kind of bring this across now i'm holding down alt clicking and dragging this down so if i click once click a second time you can see there it's locking to the red axis remember you can use your arrow keys to also lock to different axes we went over that in a previous tutorial all right so i'm pressing the right arrow key there and i can come along and click it down so that though so using those arrow keys will lock it into whatever you need to now i'm using the offset command and I'm kind of dragging this in and just clicking down and in. So this is going to be the start of our quartz scraper. So now I can select that and drop it down. So that's going to be it. Now I'm just going to adjust these slightly because I want to bring it in. So let's kind of do that again. Oop. All right, that will do me and I'll drop that there. There's our quartz scraper. All right, now I'm actually going to group this now. We've gone over groups as well and just create a new rectangle here and just put this down. So this is going to be our internal kind of, um, internal courtyard. And open up our colors panel. Now this is going to be nice simplistic and put in a color in there. All right, so I quickly brought this up by hitting Command Shift and C and I'm just going to put that out of the way up in there. All right, so now moving on with our concept from here, I can now select both of these grab move tool by hitting alt r m and now i can hold down alt and click and drag across now to get these exactly the same kind of spacing what i'm going to do is actually click here on this initial one and drag to the same point so now we've got nice even spacing happening now because we've grouped this we need to double click it and kind of slide it in like that all right now usually what you'll do is click a line and hit the move tool and move that up but obviously you can't do that because it's now adjusting everything. So what you now need to do is make sure nothing's selected, make sure you've got the green dot there, and then click and drag this up. Now I'm just roughly going on proportions and I'm gonna lock this to the blue axis by hitting the up key. And we've got it there. And I'm gonna go 10,500. And again, I'm gonna click this one here and lock it to the blue axis. And again, let's do 10,500. All right, you can see that that there is probably a little bit too high because Big's Court Scraper actually only kind of comes down something like that. And then again, we're gonna grab this, lock into the blue axis, slide it up, and then this one here, and slide this up as well. All right, so that's basically but you can, basically the Court Scraper there. However, we've now got all these ugly lines. So what you wanna do is hit E for your eraser tool. Now holding down Alt, now obviously if we just click that, it's gonna remove the whole side. But if we hold down Alt, it'll just hide those lines. So I can start to kind of get rid of these ugly lines that I don't really want and make it a little bit more pretty. So you can see there now we've got something that's kind of resembling Big's Court Scraper. 
Now, so let's jump into our different styling. Now, obviously, the course scrapers, I'm, I'm not spending too much time on this because it is pretty simple form. Um, and you can spend a little bit more time, make it a little bit more precise, obviously get in all your windows and whatnot. But the point of this video is I kind of want to show these different styles and stuff. So what I'd prefer to start with is the construction template. And then we can kind of come in here and edit. Now you can also click this button up in here, which will create a new style. Um, but I like to kind of just save the construction documentation style and play with it instead. So in order to do this, we can now put on our back edges, which now shows our marching ants of what it's in behind, which kind of gives us a little bit of context of what's going on. Just kind of like Big's ones in here where we've got these dotted lines and the marching ants. Moving on from that, in order to get a nice big bold outline, like Big does, we also want to come into this edit tab and we're going to start playing with these depth cues, extensions and whatnot. So obviously the edges we definitely want to keep on. Alright, profiles we definitely want to keep on because that's going to give us our nice big bold outline but we're going to jump that up to maybe 4 or 5. Alright, so that I'm happy with that forward. We've now got this nice big solid black outline. And now we can play with the depth cue as well. So that's going to increase that nice big solid outline. However, we probably don't want it quite as high as the actual outline going around the actual form. So I'm going to drop that back down to two. Extension, I don't want to do too much because if I'm jack this up, look to 15, you can see there that I'm now starting to get these ugly sketchy lines. So I'm going to actually turn extension off, don't want that on. And endpoints, I'm just going to put on, but I'm going to put it on two. And that's just going to give me a nice crisp endpoint uh, for each corner. Jitter you don't want to play with because it'll start to give you a bit of a sketchy lines feel to it. And then you also want to keep colour all the same because obviously if we do materials and axis, it's going to change the colour of our lines. So keep that all the same. Going over into our next kind of page, we've now got face colour and back colour. And I prefer to kind of keep with these styles on a nice shaded and you can play with transparent uh, material transparency here. Now I like to have that nice, it doesn't really change too much. And of course you can also put an x-ray, which we don't really want for these nice clean um, concept diagrams. Looking over the side here onto our next one, we've now got background and sky. Um, I'm going to come back to these in two seconds and show you what I do with these, just to make exporting a little bit easier. Obviously display watermarks, we don't really need to put a watermark unless you're kind of doing professional documentation you want a watermark over the top of it. And then over in here we've got in geometry which we can kind of put on. I don't want to because I deliberately hit all those lines. And you've also got colour by layer guides, section planes and the rest of it. Alright, so I'm okay with all that, I don't really want to change it too much. But if we kind of come back, I want to make sure that those back edges are back on, which is something we want. Still got 4-2. Uh, four on the profile, two on the depth queue, and two on the endpoints. And then if we come back to the background, we kind of now have done all of our concept diagramming, quick, quick model up in SketchUp. So what I want to do is adjust my background color. So I usually open up colors. If you've actually got the textures open, which might be a possibility, just jump over and do colors over here. And what I'm going to do is select a random color we're not going to be using. So I haven't used any kind of light blue. So Sorry for the kind of really um, abrupt kind of changing colour, but I'll do this in order to um, make it easier in Photoshop to kind of cut out the background image. The other thing I will do is go up into view, turn off my axes, now I've just got these floating in space as opposed to being locked to a different plane like the XYZ plane. And that'll just make it a lot, lot easier when you export these out. So obviously we're going to go file, export and you've got it here 2d graphic or 3d model obviously you can do 2d graphic and if you've got the pro version you can kind of start you'll have a lot more um options here and you can export it as a dwg and whatnot but for this i can just export it as a png and then obviously in photoshop i can cut out all that blue now nice and easy just by doing a select color so it makes life a lot lot easier when you're doing your concept diagrams because now we've had them all created in sketchup and we can just kind of put them in there into our models when we need to. But anyway guys, that's gonna wrap up today's tutorial. Hopefully you guys got something out of it. Share it with a mate if you think you've got someone that might enjoy this and needs help with um, concept modeling. Until next time guys, have an awesome week and I will see you on tomorrow's video.